Good morning. I hope you're all having a great holiday weekend and enjoying time with your families. Today, we are going to continue discussing the armor of God that Miss Laura started talking to you about last week. We are all in God's army, but Satan has an army of his own, and he's in a battle to try to win, but we're not going to let him. So first, if you have your Bible, if you'll open with me to Ephesians chapter 6, and we're going to read verses 10 through 18 together. Finally, be strengthened by the Lord and by his vast strength. Put on the full armor of God so that you can stand against the schemes of the devil. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers of this darkness, against evil spiritual forces in the heavens. For this reason, take up the full armor of God so that you may be able to resist in the evil day and having prepared everything to take your stand. Stand therefore with truth like a belt around your waist, righteousness like armor on your chest, and your feet sandaled with readiness for the gospel of peace. In every situation, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God. Pray at all times in the Spirit with every prayer and request, and stay alert with all perseverance and intercession for all the saints. So, we are all God's soldiers, and God has given us equipment to fight the devil with, because if you're in a battle, you have to be prepared so you can win, right? Satan is sneaky and tricky. He's a sneaky and tricky enemy, and we may think he's strong, but we have God's armor, which is stronger, so we don't have to be afraid because God's armor is stronger than anything Satan can throw at us, but you have to make sure you keep God's armor on you. Remember that the pieces of God's armor that we read about are the belt of truth, the breastplate of righteousness, good news boots to share God's peace, a shield of faith, a helmet of salvation, and a sword of the Spirit. So last week you learned about the first piece of armor that Paul discusses, which is the belt of truth. You have to make sure to keep your belt of, belt of truth on so you don't listen to the devil's lies. Remember that when we're surrounded by honesty and truthfulness and integrity and sincerity, that every part of our life is governed by truth, and God's truth holds us tight. So this week we're going to talk about the second piece of armor, of the armor of God, which is the breastplate of righteousness. Um, in the armor of a Roman soldier, the breastplate served as protection for some of the most important parts of the body. Underneath the breastplate is your heart and lungs, and we need those organs in order to live. We, we have to have those to survive. So the breastplate in a soldier's armor is very important for protection. And then being righteous means always making good choices. So if you have on a breastplate of righteousness, then you're always making the right choice. And that way you protect your heart from the devil. Well, we know when we make a bad choice that Satan's power is behind every bad choice that we make. And we can't see our enemy, the devil, but we can see him in every bad choice because of how those choices affect us and how those choices affect our family and friends. And those bad choices end up making our hearts feel sad and guilty, and that makes Satan happy. So we should always, always make good choices, right? Yes, but, well, we know this, but no one on earth is perfect, and we have all made bad choices. We should try and be perfect like Jesus, but we all mess up with this every day. We need to try to keep being righteous and make good choices, but we, almost, we also must remember that Jesus took the punishment for our bad choices. And so that means that when we choose to accept Jesus as our Savior, then God sees our sins as gone. And that means to God we are righteous. Satan tries to make us feel bad about ourselves and feel guilty, but we have to know that God loves us so we can't let Satan make us feel bad. Okay, so I, now I know you love to dance and sing, so I found this video from Covenant Kids Worship for you, so you can get up and dance. Are you ready? 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 
today's lesson with a prayer so if you'll bow your heads with me dear God today we put on the full armor of God to guard our lives against attack we put on the belt of truth to protect against the devil's lies we put on the breastplate of righteousness to protect our hearts from the temptations that we battle every day we ask for your help in remembering to put on your armor every day for you give us all that we need to stand firm in this world Forgive us, God, for the times we've been unprepared or when we were trying to fight and wrestle without you. Thank you that we are never in this battle alone, for we know that you are always there protecting us. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. All right, kids, so put on your belt of truth and your breastplate of righteousness. Let it cover your hearts to guard against Satan so he doesn't win when he tries to send you running from God's love. Jesus died so our hearts are covered with God's forgiveness. And each second of every day, we're given choices to make. Even if you've made a thousand bad choices in the past, those are forgiven because you believe in Jesus. But today is a new day, and so start with your very next choice. Make it a good choice that would make God happy. And then do the same for each next choice. I love you, and I will see you all soon. <laughs>